first thing I want to sort out in this house is all the clutter so they can have some more breathing space. We have four strollers in this house. Two have to go. Oh no. <laughs> this one, this one. That's like brand new. I just, I just spent $100 on that. You want to get rid of the red one? No, that's my prized possession. Well, why, but we don't need it though. All right, chop, chop. You have one minute to make a decision. Fancy, what's it gonna be? This one or that one? 10, nine, eight. I was still torn because I love that stroller. Uh, you know, although it really it will break my heart. I mean, I'm willing to donate this stroller. I love that stroller that I gave away. I still, I still am having feelings about it. I personally think when Fancy let go of that stroller, she thought, what the hell, I might as well just stop being militant with everything else. Is that a keeper? Don't be sentimental, get rid of it. Mum and Dad had cleared up everything apart from the kids' toys, and I've got a plan for that. But what I thought this family deserved was a little bit of fresh air. So, I think we should take a nice, brisk stroll. OK, we're all for it. Yeah, why don't we go up to Times Square and uh, take a walk? OK. Let's go. Come on, boys. Okay. Right off the bat, I want to put Mum and Dad to the test. Every time they go out, they buy the kids a toy, and I'm not allowing that this time. What I want to see is how Mum and Dad react if they start kicking off. Hunt, hunt, let's go. I was like, I don't know what is going to happen. Ryan is going to have a total meltdown because we're going to pass his favorite toy store. He is going to be kicking and screaming to go into that place. As we started to walk towards the toy store, I could see the meltdown coming. Sure enough, as we passed the toy store, the boys wanted in. I want to go to the toy store. You want a pretzel? No, I want to go to the toy store. Oh, yeah, you want a pretzel, Jonathan? We're no. not going today. I don't like it. And predictably, Ryan had a meltdown. <laughs> Ryan? We go here all the time, and you have many, many toys. Let's look at some other store. It's heartbreaking to me to see my son crying like this, and then it's also embarrassing. Let's get a pretzel. No, 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 no. We're not pacifying with food. No, no, no. Let's not pacify with food. We're leaving. Let's go. Mom and Dad did a good job holding their ground. In the end, they managed to just drag him past the shop, but he kept harping on. I need you to be strong enough to say, no, we're not going today because Mummy chooses for us not to go in there, OK? Ryan, listen to what Mummy's telling you now. Ryan. Turn around and listen to Mummy. Ryan, I don't want to go into the store. We're not going. Right, let's move on a bit. Let me, let me take him for a second. I'm dying. He just didn't stop. <laughs> and these parents didn't know how to handle him. So I thought what I'd do is just show these parents how to do it. Okay, that's enough. Right now, that is enough. Okay? No crying, no temper tantrum. Okay, no pulling those faces. And he looked at me and thought, this lady's having none of it. And I think as soon as these parents have realised they're not prepared to tolerate his nonsense, he gets that very quickly. Right, let's see some good boy behaviour. Any nonsense, and I'm putting you on timeout. When Ryan responded to Joe, that he stopped crying and the meltdown went away instantly, it was like magic. 